Well, hey, my kids, my name is Mr. Jeff. I'm here with my kids, and this is another edition of Strong Life, where we're going to tell a Bible story and then try and act it out. And so the story today comes from the New Testament, where Jesus told a parable. And Jesus told many parables. These were short stories that carried with them a lot of wisdom and meaning. In this case, the, our story is the story of the farmer or the parable of the sower. And it's in Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. <laughs> and so Jesus, starting in chapter 4, verse 3, says, Listen, a farmer uh, went out to plant his seed. He scattered the seed on the ground. Some of it fell on the path, and uh, birds came and ate it up. Some of it fell in rocky places where there wasn't much soil. The plants came up quickly because the soil wasn't so deep. But when the sun came up, it burned the plants. They dried up because they had no roots. Other seed fell amongst thorns, and the thorns crowded out the plants so the plants could not bear grain. Still, other seed fell on good soil. It grew up and produced a crop of 30, 60, even 100 times more than the farmer had planted. Well, that was the parable or the short story. And let's go ahead and act this out using some exercises. You guys ready? Yeah! For this warm up, we're gonna be reminded of some of those things that we heard about in today's parable. All right, the first thing we heard about was a farmer. So let's put our feet about shoulder width apart, grab some seed in our hands and let's plant it in the ground. So we bend down, grab some more when we come up and plant it again in the ground. Up and plant. Up and plant, three more, plant, up and plant, last one, and there we go. Next thing we heard about was birds that were flying around, so let's make sure those shoulders and arms are all warmed up, so flap those wings if you can for me. And you can even make bird sounds at home if you want. Are there any birds around here? Oh, great, all right, good, good. Um, the next thing that we heard about was that seed that fell in the rocky soil. So grab a rock right here with your hands, imaginary rock. And let's go ahead and bring it down to the ground and then back up over our head. Down to the ground, back up over our head. Down, back up for three and two. I know it's heavy, Lucy. And one, lift it up. Okay. <clears throat> next thing we heard about was thorns. So can you guys make pointy? parts of your elbows like this by putting your hands on the back of your head and lifting each pointy thorn to your pointy knee, okay? To remind us of the thorns that we learned about. Okay, just up and up, all the way up. Touch your elbow to your knee for three, two, and one. The last thing that we learned about, this is a, this is a tough warm up, huh? The last thing that we learned about was the seed that fell in good soil. So let's do one more thing here with good soil, and that is we turn into a seed like this, and then we lift up all the way up like we're, we're a flower blooming. Up, down into a seed, bloom up. Down, bloom, three, and two, all the way down, and last one. Now that we've done our warm-ups, we're ready to get into that story. The story had four parts to it, and it talks about the seed and where it landed. The first seed, it said, the farmer scattered landed on a path, right? Where birds flying overhead went down and ate it up. So let's pretend that we're birds. So we're gonna go on our tummies like this. Like a superhero. Yup, and these are also called super persons, right? Or supermans. And so we're gonna lift our arms off the ground. We're gonna bring them out overhead like we're a bird flying overhead, looking for something to eat, okay? Can you do 10 of these? Here we go, count them down with me. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well, the bird spotted something, so let's go into plank position like this, okay? Like we're doing, do a push up, and using your nose, I want you to bring your nose all the way down and pick up that seed off of the ground, okay? Here we go, let's do five of these, ready? 
Go all the way down. One. Pick up the seed and up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Come on. Last seed and five. Good job. The second seed that we learned about was the seed that fell in that rocky soil. And has anyone ever walked across a bunch of rocks? It doesn't feel very good, right? Okay, this is an example of what that rocky soil looks like. And as you can see, as we're walking along here, we kind of got to lift our legs up because it's a little bit owie to walk on this kind of soil. Okay, well, as you saw, walking on that rocky soil did not feel good. So we're going to do Frankenstein exercises here where we lift out our arms. And just like when we were walking across that rocky soil, we got to lift our legs up like this. Go ahead and join us at home. Lift those legs up. Try and touch your knee all the way up to your arm. Ouch. 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 Walking across that rocky soil. And the next thing we learned was that the seed that was planted, remember it got into the ground, and then it lifted up one root, back here, lifted up its other root, lifted up another root, and then lastly, one more root, and then it just sprang right up. But then it withered back down. Okay, so go back into that plank position, lift up one root, another root, a third root, fourth root, and then spring right up. But wither back down. All right, let's do two more of those since, since we'll do four total. One root, two roots, three roots, four roots, and spring up. And last one, wither back down. All right, that sun was so hot on those seeds, it burned them right up and they withered down. Third root, fourth root in, spring up. All right. The third seed that we learned about went into the soil, but there was thorns and weeds all around it. And what happened was as that seed grew, it got choked out by those thorns. See how sharp and pokey those are? You would not want to get poked by this. Not at all. Okay? So for our exercises, we're going to just show what it looks like. And I can call on these um, uh, partner thorny squats. You see how you've got back-to-back -back partners, and their, their arms are locked like that, the thorns, and how they locked around the seeds. What they're going to do is they're going to squat down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Can you do three more? Two more and one more. Probably not recommended for five and below for obvious reasons, but try that at home. The next exercise we should do is still looking like we're thorns, right? We got our thorny knee, we got our thorny elbows. We're gonna do cross-legged crunches like this. So we do a sit-up kind of, where we're bringing our body, our elbow up to meet our pointy knee. We'll do three, <laughs> and one, yes, this can't be tricky. Can you switch legs, Lucy? And switch arms for five, four, three, two, and one. That exercise is probably not recommended for four and one. The final seed, the fourth seed that we learned about, is the seed that fell on good soil and uh, produced a rich and abundant crop. And so to honor that, remember they said it was 30 to 60 to 100 times more than what was planted that was produced by that seed that fell in the good soil. Well, in honor of those numbers, we're going to do 30 jumping jacks, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and count those out. Ready, guys? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 60 flutter kicks. Flutter kicks are where you lay on your back and you bring your legs out like this, okay? And we're gonna flutter them like you're dipping your toes in the pool. We'll count to 60. Ready, guys? We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
Okay. Well, in honor of the hundred times number, we're gonna do a wall sit for 100 seconds. I've started the timer, and that's a minute and 40 seconds. If you're timing yourself, what you wanna do is have those knees about 90 degrees, right? Good bend in them. Not like that. Come on, bend those knees, man. And it's gonna start to burn. And make sure your back is against the wall. All right, so we're just gonna hold it here 100 seconds. We're already up to 30 seconds. Is it, are you feeling the heat in the legs? Are you feeling that heat? Come on, man. Bend those legs. How's it going? Do you feel it right here? Woo! Of course I do. Woo. Okay. I feel jacket. You bend the knee. No food, no water. No food or no water. No. For the next 40 seconds. I come in. Yeah, come on in, Lucy. Can you finish it up with us? We got 40 seconds to go to make it to the 100 mark. Come on, everyone. Hold it. 30 seconds. Feel that burn right in the tops of the legs. Keep your back against the wall. Oh, you want up again? Okay, that was quick. Almost there. Yeah. Well, we can't fast forward for 10 more seconds. Can you count it down with me, guys? From five, four, three, two, one. Well, my kids, I hope you enjoyed that workout, and I hope you also enjoyed this story today. Remember, our story was told by Jesus. It was a parable, and a parable is a simple story that tells a lesson. The lesson in this case that Jesus goes on to say in Mark chapter 4 is that the seeds are actually God's word. And uh, depending on the busyness in our lives or how, how much we're distracted, sometimes we can't really hear God's word, right? We, we can't listen to it and actually go and put some of the things that it tells us to do into practice, right? So it just reminds us that we should be reading God's Word, should be praying and listening to what God has. And, and if we do that, like the soil behind us, will grow up and, and produce fruit and, and wonderful things in our lives. So as an added, uh, added activity to this story, what we also did was we wrote out the parable of the sower, sower and we did four pictures. Okay, can you guys show your pictures to the camera? And they kind of explain the different, the, the seed that landed on the ground and was eaten up by the birds, the seed that was grew up in the rocky soil and was withered by the sun, the seed that was choked out by the weeds, but then the good soil that produced 30 to 60 to 100 times uh, what it was initially planted as. So remember that, and that's a good activity if you want to do it after this to remind you of that story from Mark chapter 4. Well, with that, can you guys say bye to our friends at home? Bye!